Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are checking out Basketball GM. So ultimately what this is, is supposed to be like a more like in-depth My League or My GM that you would see in NBA 2K21. Uh, but with this, like I said, man, it's like a lot more in-depth and everything. So the goal is still the same. You want to win championships. You want to draft, you know, good players. You want to sign free agents, do all this stuff, become financially stable. But uh, just in a different type of scenario, right, man? So if you guys end up enjoying this, uh, please leave a like on this video if you guys want more, you know, re builds whatever you want to call these um with this type of interface right here it looks pretty interesting uh so i created this league about half an hour ago and uh, i i tinkered with it a little bit just kind of get like a feel for things so i didn't look like a complete idiot but uh we are just gonna take this nice and slowly it might be a little bit of a longer video as i get used to different settings and stuff like that man but uh yeah really excited for this we are doing the detroit pistons trick myself down here so i'm not too much in your guys's way so here we go um we are the Detroit Pistons right here. So you guys can see this is like the main screen right here. It gives us the standings. Uh, keep in mind the logos are not going to be the same for copyright reasons. But uh, yeah, so this is our starting five as of right now. We have Jeremy Grant, Mason Paul, Moose, Sadiq Bay, Josh Jackson, Wayne Ellington. Uh, I believe that like injuries and all that stuff is like updated too to reflect the beginning of the NBA season. So uh, one thing you will notice is Jeremy Grant is a 66 overall player with 68 potential. So I guess... Uh, the rating system is going to be something to get used to, but Jeremy in 2K is like an 83 overall, so that gives us a good idea that like you know mid to you know, like mid to high 60s is like a decent basketball player, right? Um, Mason Plumlee 60 overall, he's reached his max potential. Sadiq Bay has a room to actually become like a near Jeremy Grant. I'm hoping there's way to up the potential. I have not really seen a way to do that yet, but I'm sure we'll learn that in time. Uh, Josh Jackson has room for improvement. Wayne Ellington is who he is at the age of 34. Contract wise, you know, uh, keeps track of all that stuff for you too, there, man. So, yeah, looking at the full roster right now, um, I mean, Wayne Ellington is just somebody that I do not really want <laughs> on this team, really at all, man. So, uh, yeah, once again, looking at the ratings right here, I, I guess the green kind of shows like what they're really good at, the reds, what they're bad at. So, that will be kind of nice. Uh, so, offensive IQ is nice. Uh, obviously, a, a, a decent shooter, which is kind of what he is at this point. But uh, it would really be nice to get away from a 34-year-old 30, shooting guard in our lineup. Uh, what really sucks, though, is Killian Hayes is going to be out for 60 games. As we all know, in real life, he had that right hip injury. So, that's something we're going to have to deal with. Uh, but I think instantly what I want to do... I wonder if you can play, like, whoever you want in any position. I believe you can. Maybe you just have to have, like, a complete team out there. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, yeah, because it says power forward, so you could, in theory, put out all those power forwards. I'm hoping that it ends up putting, like, the correct lineup out there for you. But uh, we're going to do the same format, you know, small forward, center, power forward, and then, of course, having, you know, two guards out there too, man. So, uh, Wayne Ellington, I'm going to switch out with Corey Joseph. So, looking at Corey Joseph's stats right here, um, you know, obviously, man, he's, you know, pretty, uh, he, he's been decent for the Pistons this season, but 47 overall, so... Compare that to, like, the, the 60 range. It's not great. Wayne Ellington's actually rated a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, just, it's, and you know, actually, I don't want to go Saban Lee, man. I mean, Dennis Smith, like, he's just, he's not doing well. He's down to a 34. His potential is bad. He's just not happy whatsoever. So, maybe there's an opportunity to trade him away. Uh, over here, you do have, like, these moods, I guess. So, Minus 10 right now. He's unhappy with the team's performance. We haven't even started the damn season yet, man. You got to calm down with that. Plus two, he's loyal to the franchise. 70% chance he would resign. Um, and then, like, you have, like, these WLs, Fs. I have, like, a little cheat sheet on the side over here. So, W means winning. So means that team success is important. Uh, you know, you got the L right here, which is loyalty. It's just, like, how loyal they want to be the franchise. How long they want to stay there for. So, that's all important stuff to put into consideration. But, uh, yeah, man, I want to keep Siku around. I think the first thing we need to do, though, is trade for another guard. I'm just like, we have a lot of guards on this team, but ultimately speak, we don't really have like that go-to guy until Killian Hayes is back. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what's available for free agents. And uh, Myers Leonard, no thank you, man. He is out for 100 games. Okay, yes, let's uh, definitely not pay him any sort of money. Uh, Mo Wagner would be a little interesting. He's got a 35 overall, so... Uh, not the greatest out there, but, uh, you know, I kind of like his hustle and stuff. Like, oh, damn, he refuses to negotiate. He's li literally the one guy I'm looking at refuses to negotiate. What's up with that? Okay, uh, I guess we're going to just some trades out there. So, point guard or shooting guard? Kind of the positions we really want to look at right here. So, looking at uh, all the teams available. Uh, I just want to look for, like, a dude that we can have on the team. Like, Malik Monk would be kind of interesting. Uh, young, you know, young, young enough player, only 23. So that's something to think about. 
uh, Zach Levine, if we really want to go for like a go to score on this team, which I would not be totally against. But at the same time, too, part of me wants to uh, tank on this season and kind of see where that takes us. Colin Sexton uh, would be nice, but probably a little bit too expensive. Um, not really seeing anybody right away that's really catching my interest big time. You know what I'm saying, man? So, okay, we got, I mean, go for Taylor Horton and just go all in on like the young bloods out there. Uh, Dylan Brooks would be pretty nice. Guard forward, tw age 25. Average about 17 points per game for the Grizzlies in real life right now. So, uh, very athletic player. Decent enough score. 56 three-point shot could be a little bit better, but still potential to knock it down. Overall, 60. So, uh, yeah, we're going to click on him. So, okay, we could give up something for him. Uh, I do want to... So, so what you can do down here, I guess, is, is you can, like, block out players you don't want to trade. So, I don't want to trade Jeremy Grant. Uh, I don't want to trade Sadiq Bey. Um, Seku, I want to keep around. Killian, I want to keep around. Isaiah Stewart, uh, man, at this point, you might just kind of might be like, yo, uh, Crispy, like, yeah, I give up something, man. So we'll make this deal work. Uh, to make this deal work, we can take on Dylan Brooks for our 2021st first round pick and a 2027. I guess when you uh, get rid of that many players, um, yeah, all they want is draft picks. So we're going to, like I said, we'll make this deal work again. So we have another trade offer right here. This time they want to toss in Killian Tilly. Not feeling that. Uh, we got some picks. Get Tim Frazier on the team. Uh, okay, I mean, little the, the 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 two first round picks is a little bit too much for my liking. What if we just like get rid of those, man? Like, okay, twenty twenty seven. I'll be cool with proposed trade. Trade rejected. What are you crazy? They want two. So I'll give you. I will give you a twenty twenty seven and a twenty twenty fifth first round pick, man. It's a lot to give up. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be that far in this anyway. So I always want to get Dylan Brooks on the team. So proposed trade and uh, trade rejected. What are you crazy yet again? Okay, so screw them. Screw them. Maybe we should take out these players and uh, it might, might get some more offers. But I don't really want Jeremy. I don't want to trade Jeremy Grant at all. So that's not going to happen. Tyler Hero could be interesting. What is Duncan Robinson? Guard forward. Uh, just for like a knockdown three-point shooter. Expiring contract. Okay, we'll bite. We'll see what they want for him, man. Uh, Frank Jackson, Rodney McGruger, Jaleel Okafor. Bro, you guys are trying to kill my first round picks. That's not going to happen. Like, if I'm doing that, I'm getting, like, Chris Middleton on my team. By the way, who do you want for Chris Middleton? What would make this deal work? Uh, okay, so, three first round picks. And Sadiq Bey. Hell no, man. Okay, uh, Malik Beasley's out for 12 games. But, uh, he could have been interesting. But I don't really want to do that right away. Oh, man, R.J. Barrett, no. I mean, you know, for the right price, obviously, I would take him. But, uh, yeah, that price just ain't there at the moment. Shake Middleton. Okay, okay. Uh, CJ McCollum, no. Buddy Heal could be nice. What y'all want for Buddy Heal, man? Just like a nice... Uh... Oh, what's this? Yo, De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heal for Frank Jackson, Ronnie McGruger, Julian Okafer, Tyler Cook and Sadiq Bay. Oh man. Oh, and three first round picks. Okay, I did not quite see that part right there. Okay, that's not happening. That's not happening. Um, I wish there was a way to like just like for me to offer up one player and just kind of see who all I could get for that then. Um maybe I, do I have to like unclick these players? Probably so. Okay, so we'll unclick all of them. Okay, okay. Who else we got up in here, man? Gary, ooh, Gary Trent. I like Gary Trent Jr. a lot. What would make this deal work? I'm not giving up three first round picks for Gary Trent Jr., man. Oh, boy. Okay, so I think we're going to have to hold off on a trade for right now, man. There's just uh, way too much. They want way too much. Brad the Beal. I'll do a Brad the Beal trade. Sadiq, Isaiah Stewart, Beef Stew. Nope, not happening like that. Okay. Uh, so I guess what you could also do, though, if you wanted to, is do I, I could just toss in, like, say I want to trade Plumlee away. What would make this deal work in their game? Maybe some trades. So Thomas Bryant, uh, Thomas Bryant, Thomas Bryant ish Smith. Okay, so you could do like one on one, kind of like trade finder type of things. Okay, that is that is uh, important to note. But uh, overall, man, ask for way too much at the moment. I'd rather just kind of fade for Cade with it. So yeah, uh, let's go back to our roster. Corey Joseph, do I want to play him? Age thirty, man. Josh Jackson for sure can start. Ooh, I think I want to go through. Uh, but, like, Diallo's not, like, a point guard, though. Okay, Diallo, I for sure want to move up in the rotation. Wayne Ellington could be, like, down here. Frank Jackson, you know, here we go. Frank Jackson seems like a cool dude to start until Killian's back. So, we'll do that for right now. That looks pretty good. Let's go to the, uh, 
let's go to the home page and what we're gonna do is simulate until the regular season starts up there we go there we go okay that looks pretty good so i'm moving myself up here now just because i think we'll be less in the way and uh let's go ahead and simulate let's simulate one month let's see what happens in one month so yeah obviously we're not gonna be a very good team this season although we're doing decent enough jeremy grant had a 51 point game wayne ellington's injured okay that kind of sucks Okay, so after you know, one month, we are 10 and 18, which is to be expected with. Uh, let's check out some of the stats right here. So Jeremy Grant's our leading scorer. Uh, Mason Plumlee's leading in rebounds and assist. So can we look at it like this? Okay, there we go. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, Frank Jackson, the starting lineup. 1.8 points a game? How do you get 1.8 points per game as a starter, man? That's got to be, like, virtually impossible to do. That's got to be virtually impossible to do. Okay, let's go to this right here. So, uh, we want to play him a little bit more. So, we'll give him the plus right there. Not, like, too much more. Maybe he's not getting enough minutes. Uh, to, okay, I guess he is at 10 minutes per game only. But still, man. So, hopefully that will allow him to play a little bit more. Uh, they're trying to really get Corey Joseph out there. Let's make that switch, I suppose. Uh, I'm not totally against that, I guess. So, we'll do that. And, uh, yeah, you'll be part of the lineup still. But, uh... He's going to save Lee up there. Frank Jackson. Both these guys got to be playing decent minutes. I guess we're pretty much going with like a... Uh, it's going to be like a five-man rotation here, man. Beef Stew playing pretty decent out there. Almost makes me want to trade Mason Plumlee. So, yeah. These guys all playing. Let's get them all at the plus uh, signs. Just to make sure Coach knows what we're doing. Okay, okay. And uh, Jeremy Grant got to be playing a lot. So, we'll give him the uh, plus plus. Alrighty. Let's go another, another month, man. Hopefully, one more month... Uh, We'll go ahead and have what's his name back on the team. So Sadiq made a game-winning three-pointer with 12.1 seconds remaining, a 94-93 win over the Suns. Very clutch. Mason Plumley with a triple double. And uh Seku Dumbuya uh, sprained shoulder out for four games. So yeah, or at least injured for four games, not necessarily out for four games. And we are one game away from Killian being back. So simulate another game. There we go. Killian is back and ready to go. As Corey Joseph made a game-winning free throw with no time on the clock and a 93-91 win over the Miami Heat. But we have Killian back. So that means that, uh, you know, Corey, you've been nice. Nine points, five assists per game. You were pretty decent for us. So, uh, unfortunately, though, you know, Killian going to be our starter. Alrighty, so... 26 uh, minutes, 12 minutes, uh, 70, uh, 7 minutes for Frank Jackson. Um, just not really doing much for us. Played 52 games on the season, but uh, I think he's going to be the one that probably falls out of the rotation the most right here. So we'll go ahead and get him out of there, man. And then we got, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Doom Boy is going to be out for a bit, but he's still, play, he's still healthy and everything. So that should be completely fine. So let's go back to the uh, standings on the season. And uh, right now we are, I don't think they're going to have the play-in tournament. So we're about um, six games away from making the playoffs at the moment. Hopefully Killian can kind of, you know, kind of like bridge that gap. But we got the 76ers killing it, Los Angeles Lakers. No surprise there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out, uh, yeah, finances. How we doing there, man? We making money? We got about $23 million profit, so that's not too bad. Uh, we're not losing money. Look at all these teams losing money, guys. So we're making money for our teams. You know, I'm a finance major, although I don't think I've done anything to actually influence that. Notice how we only have a 4 million population. Sacramento Kings got 1.8, so that's also not much better. But uh, here we go. Player rating. So this must be the highest rated guys in the NBA, just to give you guys an idea on what's considered great, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, James Harden, he's averaging 30 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists, okay. LeBron averaging 27, 7, and 9. All right, all right. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and simulate probably uh, probably to the playoffs, right, man? I mean, we don't really got much more to do with this team until the regular season. So, let's simulate to the playoffs, and then we'll kind of do some big-time trades and stuff like that too, man. So, uh, yeah, I don't, buy, I don't mind completely tanking this season and just giving Killian some runs out there. And, uh, yeah, we're obviously not in the playoffs. Lakers first seed, Philly uh, first seed in the Eastern Conference. So, let's go ahead and uh, go to, let's go to our roster. So, Jeremy Grant, 24 points per game, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Plumlee, solid 12, 10, and 6. He actually played really good for us, man. Sadiq Bay was nice. Uh, Killian Hayes in about 27 minutes per game, 6 points, 2 rebounds, 8 assists. I love the 8 assists. It's good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, man. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go through the playoffs. I guess I should go to the uh, playoffs standings right there. And the winner is... Okay, the winner was the Brooklyn Nets. Move myself down here real quick. Uh, Brooklyn Nets. Okay, playoff bracket. That's what I wanted to see. So, Dallas actually upset the Lakers. So, ain't that far off from 2K, man. Ain't that far off from 2K. Um, yeah, that's the Lakers. That's the Clippers right there. Philly. Pretty accurate bracket for the most part. Maybe not Dallas being the Lakers, but then again, who knows? Um, but yeah, so it was oh, Portland in the finals. Interesting. So I think it was Portland versus Philly. I no Brooklyn versus versus. Oh no, Portland made it to the finals. Okay, and then Brooklyn swept the Philadelphia 76ers four games to zero. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So uh, twenty-seven and fifty-five. Um, looking at some of the notes right here. We got Mason Plumlee made the all third team. Defensive team. Wow. Okay. I was not really expecting that. Let's read these notes, messages. Okay. So uh, looking at this, it says from the owner. Uh, this year, pretty good overall. It's too early to judge. Uh, hopefully, you'll win some more games. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, man. How do I see those rewards? Because I saw that and now, now they're just gone. So award, award races, maybe? Is this it? This is pretty cool that they got the MVP, but... Uh, yeah, I, I definitely skipped that by mistake. I'll have to catch that next season. Unless there's something I'm missing here. But, uh, okay. So, I guess we're going to go to the draft lottery. And we have a 10% chance at the first pick in the draft. Um, so, we're gonna. it looks like we should get a top four. We, ooh. That's not great. Sixth or seventh would not be ideal, man. But let's start this draft lottery. See what we end up getting. Come on, man. Come on, man. What are we going to get? 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 And we get the seventh pick in the draft. We get the seventh damn pick in the draft, man. Damn it, bro. What am I going to do with that? Hopefully draft a good player. Hopefully draft a good player. I'm not happy about that, man. Uh, view draft lottery. Not great. Okay, so let's go to the draft now. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and simulate to our pick right here. So it looks like the players that are gone, Jonathan Kaminga, Kate Cunningham, Moses Moody, Jalen Green, Zaire Williams, Jalen Suggs. So that means without a doubt in my mind, I am going to be getting Evan Mobley on the scene. He's only listed as a center though, which I don't absolutely love. Uh, I wish he could play some power forward, man. Who is Yevis Pond? I have not heard of this person in my entire life. Yo, what does R stand for? Probably... Oh, rebounder. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that seems like the way to go, right? It's got to be Evan Mobley at this pick. So, let's go ahead and draft him. Uh, 48 overall with a 66 potential. So, welcome to the team, man. Okay, happy about that. Let's go ahead and jump to our next pick. Which is uh, a second rounder right there. So, a lot of these guys I do not know about, man. I do not know about. But uh, we'll probably just go best available. Let's go with... Uh, Let's go with James. Could be a nice backup point guard eventually. Man, we'll draft him. There we go. Welcome to the squad. And we'll go, go to the NBA draft. Let the AI finish the draft up. Okay. Happy with that. So now we have to go re-sign some players. Uh, expiring contracts. Do all that. So Saban Lee's expiring. He's asking for about $1 million. I will definitely give that to him. So we'll sign him up for that. Uh, Frank Jackson. Oh, Diallo. Ooh, Diallo does not even want to re-sign with us. That is actually really painful, man. Uh, I would have loved to get Diallo back on this team. He averaged, he didn't really average all that much, I guess. Maybe he wasn't happy with his playing time. Not really sure. So, he's a negative four at the moment. So, negative two wishes fans were more excited. I mean, do you see the product on the court? Unhappy with the team's performance. <coughs> okay, so he's not happy. So, he does not want to be on our team at all. I, I'm sorry that we did not win more games. It's not like you were winning much more on the OKC Thunder. So, already, uh, I guess, uh, I guess you screw him. I suppose. All right, let's go to free agency, man. Here we go. So, free agency wise, Stanley Johnson refuses to sign with us. You love to see it, man. You absolutely love to see it. So, we've got Evan Fournier here. Um, looking at the roster at the moment, I would be cool with moving Josh Jackson to the bench for right now. So, if we can get like a good shooting guard. Um, Plumley, I'm still opening to trading away now that we have uh, Mobley on the team. Because Mobley. Uh, is going to be our starting center. So, yeah, we'll do that. And let's see if we, let's see if we can trade away um, Mason Plumley free up some more salary cap for us. So, uh, we'll see what's offered up. Ask for trade proposal. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
so we got a few offers right here to check out okay i really like that a lot so juan Hernan gomez i mean if we just want to get off the, oh, he's seven million dollars though mason's at about 11 million dollars saves a little bit of money here we get brooke lopez uh here we get a second round pick from the grizzlies second round pick from the clippers i was hoping to get a first round pick for him dorian finney smith not bad nine points five rebounds per game not really don't really need him all that much though to be honest uh jordan pool could be interesting another second round pick uh let's go ahead and uh, let's just take the okc thunder second round pick for him i'm cool with that proposed trade trade accepted okay so he was all nba 13 he was nice for us but uh yeah i was hoping just to get at least a pick back for him anyway which is probably what his trade value is in real life maybe i don't know if he's quite worth, worth the first rounder maybe two seconds you probably could get uh, if you think about it but uh okay but that frees up more money for us so yeah we're still looking probably for a shooting guard i'm kind of thinking evan fournier 16 points per game he was pretty nice let's check out this next page diallo still refuses see mikhailu tim hardaway michigan man right there okay um uh, we got yo d rose getting back on the squad carmelo anthony dougie mcbuckets okay okay here let's do this let's go to uh so what guys we got leading in points yeah i, I think i think evan fournier he's asked for about 10 million dollars that seems about right i'll go ahead and uh negotiate with him on that so give him 10 uh three seasons 10 million a season we could just go one season right here's a 58 overall player let's give him two years 12.8 and i believe he signed up with okay he's on the team he's on the team that's nice okay so we got evan 48 now to bring us some uh little bit of extra scoring on the team i like that starting five right there man bench unit pretty solid also pretty solid also if i'm being 100 honest since we are trying to make this more like a realistic rebuild i don't want to get like too many free agents but i i feel pretty good about this i think all our guys are pretty much signed up so yeah we're good with that uh let's go ahead and simulate i guess that should go straight to the preseason now which is pretty cool actually it's it's not like you know it's it, it, it's it's pretty bare bones in, in in the sense where it's like okay you do free agency you do all that stuff um can you make the right choices so this is pretty cool so far man all right we are in our next season so your coach will divide up playing time based on ability and stamina if you want to influence his judgment your options are this okay so uh i still want to play jeremy grant a lot i want to get uh, i want to make sure evan's playing a lot this season 48 i'm cool with whatever he decides there same with uh all of our bench players like just whatever he wants to do is completely cool um yeah i'm kind of considering like so do some of our picks right here so is there not really any way to like develop players overall we got killing Hayes is up to a 59 overall potential still 72 so that's nice to see i, I wish there was a way to maybe see like the history of their progression though which there very well could be okay here we go here we go here we go so uh started off as a 43 overall 46 now he's a 59 okay that's pretty cool i love that aspect of it injury wise he's doing pretty good man he's doing pretty good okay um uh, well this season real uh really is going to be just about like how evan mobley really fits in with the team right man i don't really see anything uh, else besides that love that 70 potential if we can make him to a superstar that will be an absolute beautiful thing uh i think we're gonna go ahead and simulate another season so what i like about this is you can really power through the uh, you can really power through the seasons man which is uh a lot of fun right man so let's go ahead and simulate okay until regular season at this point and let's uh go to the trade deadline and see how things are looking at that point see if we got make any big time moves and uh we're a very bad basketball team okay we are not oh my god why are we so bad why are we so bad we are 1 and 18 on the road yo killing a's 21 assist game you can't see because i was in the way right there man wow we are atrocious what did we do wrong coach jeremy grant 18 points he's, he's playing fine uh evan mobley at 13 and 8 maybe we're just it's just that we're really young and we also we, we okay we did get rid of mason Plumley, who was uh, a really good defensive player for us forney was really nice uh love the 12 points four rebounds 11 assists for killian hayes um bench units doing okay you know what man i'm i'm, I'm kind of at the point now where i'm like what do we get for jeremy grant because he is he's got a really good contract 
and he's not really leading us to anything. So uh, let's see what we can get for Jeremy Grant. And I will do that, and I'll even toss in, like, two future first-round picks, man. We're going for a big-time name. Uh, anybody else for us that's not really playing at the moment? That we can just be like, uh... Yo, Isaiah Stewart, not... Oh, my, I only got eight minutes per game. Yeah, I definitely got to help him in the rotation for sure. Uh, I'll trade with Jaleel Okafor because I do not care about Jaleel Okafor at all. Uh, ask for some trade proposals. Okay, so we here we have De'Aaron Fox. We get De'Aaron Fox on the team. Killian Hayes at the two spot. That could definitely work. Andre, which uh, Evan Fournier obviously would go to our bench, and that would actually be kind of useful. Uh, Drummond, no. Cam Reddish, no. Theo Meldon, no. We got a pick. Luke Somatic, no. Kenny Martin Jr., no. Holy sh... Bro, we can get Kevin Durant? Bro, we can get Kevin Durant and my guy Bruce Brown back? Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I low key want to try and win a championship in this video, so. Is that the trade? Wow. What is Durant's contract currently? He might be on an expiring deal, which in theory for us could be atrocious. Because obviously, like, if he takes this money, he could just leave this season and we would be in some big trouble, man. We'd be in some big trouble. Okay, how do I how do I back out? Um, okay, can I can I not can I go back? Back button? Okay, there we go. Okay. Um Yeah, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, man. Proposed trade. Hey, yo, we got bitch ass Durant on the team. Let's go, man. We go for that playoff run now, baby. Let's go. Okay, okay. Okay, I promise in the future I'll make these a little bit more realistic. But uh, obviously I gotta try this out here, right, man? So Oh, loving that. We get Bruce Brown, too, who's one of my favorite players in the NBA. So, he'll be up in the rotation. Um, Isaiah Stewart. Um, Corey Joseph probably falls out. I want to make sure that uh, Beef Stew be getting more minutes, too. So, I want him playing. Um, so, yeah. And then Kevin Durant got to be playing a lot, too. Like, he's got to carry this damn team for the rest of the season, right? Okay. So, let's go uh, back to the standings. And... I guess we're going to go and tell the playoffs and see what happens here. Who knows, man? Maybe Durant can lead the way for us. Uh, it's not looking great. Still not. We're not doing good things at all. A lot of bad things are going on at the moment. Um, 18 and 64 record, man. Okay. So, yeah. That did not work out well for us here. How did Durant play for us? Oh, we got injured. Obviously, he got injured. I really hope we can get him back. Back spasms. Not that big a deal. Played 39 minutes. He only averaged 20 points a game in, in about 40 minutes. What's up with that? The old man's out here damn uh, stealing from us at this point. That's like Evan Fournier numbers. But it does look like injuries were probably a big-time issue for us. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and get out of the playoffs here. So, playoffs. Dallas beat the Miami Heat four games three. Okay, this is the screen that I missed out on before. Uh, so, we got champion Dallas Mavericks, MVP, Luka Doncic. Okay, he also won the most valuable award in real life. Or not in real life, but in this Defensive player Jonathan Isaac, Dylan Brooks, six man who I was actually trying to get for most proof, Colin Sexton, Jalen Suggs, rookie of the year, all NBA teams. Okay, okay, okay. So let's, uh, this year, horrible. Overall, it's too early to judge. Hopefully, you'll win some games next season, try to make us some more money. Hopefully, coach. I, I really hope, man. So, view draft lottery. We have a 14% chance at the first pick. I don't know if this is going to be a realistic draft classes or not. We're going to have to see. But uh, watch us get screwed still, man. We'll probably get, like, the damn fifth pick here. Oh, we actually have a large chance at the fifth. What's up with that? I don't like that. Why do we have such a large chance at the fifth pick? Why do we have such a large chance at the fifth pick in the damn draft? We're 18 and 64. And the Pacers get the number one pick, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to the draft lottery now. Ooh, I'd love to get a Moni Bates. I would love to get a Moni Bates. Let's go ahead and sip one pick. Kendall Brown, Amoni Bates to Houston, Chet Holcomb to uh, Orlando, Diang over there. Now it's our pick and uh, looking at who's available. Um, overall wise, looks like Jalen Duran, who is a center, is there. We don't really need a center at all. I'm thinking Deshaun Nix is probably the way to go. 30 now, the 64 potential. You like seeing that. Uh, and we could use a shooting guard, I suppose. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Deshaun Nix on this team. I don't know if it's going to show like his college stats. Okay, so he's got good potential, but he's pretty ass at everything else, man. Uh, oh, he's also a point guard. We don't need a point guard at all, man. Who's this uh, Tom Tom Digby? Digby, Dig, 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 that's how you say that, I guess. Tom Digby, 
Let's get him on the team, man. We'll draft him. Sure, why not? And uh, let's go ahead and send him to the end of the draft. Alrighty, so we got those dudes. Alrighty, uh, next up, we are going to resigning players. Please, Durant, resign with us. Oh, he might actually just be on the team. Corey Joseph's pissed. Um, Josh Jackson wants about $2 million. I'll sign him up to that. Ronnie McGruger can walk. And, okay, so we're going to go to free agency. Alrighty. So, nobody wants to be in Detroit, man. You'll see all these refusals on the right side of the screen right here. Nobody wants to be in Detroit, man. Cannot have shit in Detroit, as one would say. Blake Griffin, bring him back. <laughs> what do you average last season? Eight points? Didn't win. I actually liked him when he maybe for a backup point guard. Saban Lee's not been the greatest. So, uh, $2 million. I will sign him up for that. Show players you can afford now. Okay, here we go. So, we still get Blake Griffin. James Ennis. You know what, man? I'm going to show some forgiveness, Blake. I'm going to sign you. Oh, your roster's full. Okay, well, that's not going to happen, apparently. Okay, so uh, I guess we're going to go until preseason. Should be good. Roster's full roster currently we have killian hayes who looks like is just progressing beautifully he's up to a 65 overall now uh which is up about five rating points from the previous season okay um durant is down if he's still a 63 overall even mobley's progressing nicely uh plus two potential's down three so that's not good uh, a lot of that's probably just because he's not happy about the team's performance. So hopefully in time we can start winning some games. That will be a lot better for us. But yeah, Dinwiddie will be nice for us off the bench. Um, Isaiah Stewart, Bruce Brown. Uh, Dumbuya is up to a 55 overall. So yeah, Saban Lee, unfortunately, is going to be falling out of the rotation. Dumbuya honestly should be our sixth man at the moment. Um, so I want to make sure he'd be getting some PT out there too. Same with Dinwiddie. Uh, let's get yeah, Durant right there. Killian Hayes, honestly, I want him playing a lot, uh, you know, in the point guard role. Okay, okay. Feel good about this team here, man. Durant, you got to do it for us, man. You got to do it for us, Durant. Damn, Evans is down seven rating points. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we, well, how, how did he do for his last season? Last year, he was at 16 points per game. Win share, 3.5. He's got a 34.5 win share, so I'm going to assume that was really bad and his numbers were essentially meant nothing to us. Uh, so let's back away there. Let's trade him away, man. Let's get rid of him. Evan Fournier, Saban Lee, who I love, by the way. Let's love Saban Lee. And two first-round picks. Dort. Marcus Morris. Yo, Chris Middleton, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Garrison Brooks. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. So, Chris Middleton, currently a 59 overall player. Let's see how his rating's been dropping. Um, so, not bad. Not bad. So, it's pretty compares, comparative to his 2015 season. So, yeah, he should be okay for us. Oh, what, was, what, was he, uh, what was he doing back in 2015? Uh, 2015, he averaged about... Where's the points at, man? Okay, about 13 points per game. Which is not great, but... Uh, obviously, he's better than that in real life now, man. So... Yeah, let's ask for these trade proposals again. Oh, hopefully it pops up again. Oh, well, that's kind of stupid. Okay, uh, I don't like that. Uh, ask for trade proposals. Again. Come on, man. Here we got Joe Harris. 45 overall. Do I have to, like, offer him up again or something? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, Evan Fournier. Saban. Two first-round picks. Ask for trade proposals. Okay, here we go. We got DeMar DeRozan, who is a 60 overall currently. Don't really like him in real life. I mean, he's not bad, but uh, could be nice. Jeremy Grant, 66 overall. Can get him back on the squad. Maybe he just misses Detroit that much. We're going to get Jeremy Grant back, man. We're going to get Jeremy Grant back, guys. So, Jeremy Grant. Okay, yup. Uh, propose trade. The trade is accepted. Okay, okay. That was a big time move. So, I'm thinking Sadiq probably has to go to the bench now. I'm thinking... Or we could just start him. Who's going to stop me, man? You going to stop me? Ain't nobody going to stop me doing that. No. Uh, Josh Jackson, 54 overall. He's actually rated a little bit better. He can play a little bit of guard anyway. So we'll switch out those two. Killian right here. Jeremy Grant playing a lot. There it is, man. There's the team. This, this should be a championship team in theory. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess once again, we're going to go to the trade deadline, right? We'll do that. Tell the trade online. Yo, let's, let's do one month in. See if we're off to a bad start or a good start. So, so far, uh, we're at least like a 500 team. We're actually doing pretty damn solid, man. 
So currently 11... Okay, we're doing something. Currently 13 and 15. Could definitely be better. Could no doubt be better. But it's something. It's something. I wish there was like some notes or something though, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, like there's not really much as far as like notes go. Like it doesn't tell you why you're playing bad exactly. Um, so minutes per game, that's all pretty good with Jeremy Grant playing a ton, Durant playing a ton, Killian playing a ton. Maybe they're getting a little bit too fatigued. Let me back you guys uh, down a little bit here. Durant, I still want playing a lot. Minutes per game is spread out pretty good for these guys. Um, Evan Mobley is doing okay. I mean, I, I still feel like he'd be playing a lot better for us. Uh, and Durant's not really, like, averaging that much. Is, is there a way maybe to influence, like, how many shots a player takes? That's probably something I'm going to have to kind of dig more into. But, uh, okay, okay. That should be okay for right now. So far, we're in where we're, we might make the playoffs, man. So we're gonna go ahead and go and tell the trade deadline. Go back to the standings here. And while we're not a great team, we are uh, you know, we're right in the running in the Eastern Conference, up to a six seed, back down to an eighth, just like that. And uh, here we go. We got the NBA All Star Draft. Um, I guess that's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll do that for another day. Let's uh, let's go and tell the playoffs. Go back to the standings. We're looking decent out there, man. We're doing some decent things. We clinched the playoffs. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we are seventh. Seventh in the conference. Seventh in the conference. Okay. With a 35-year-old Durant. Mobley averaging nearly a double-double. Durant, 18 points. 23 for German Grant. Happy we brought him back. Killian Hayes. Good all-around number. Scoring could be a little bit better, though. Dinwiddie's been huge for us off the bench here. All righty, man. So, um... Is there anything I want to change as far as our... Do I want to give Dinwiddie maybe a... Maybe put him in the starting lineup for uh, for the playoffs? No, we're good. We don't, don't don't fix it if it ain't broke. But not exactly fixed either, man. It's just kind of hanging there by some duct tape. All right, uh, let's go back to the playoffs. And I'm assuming we can just go, go ahead and go uh, until the end of round. Okay, so New York Knicks. Let's see what their team's looking like these days where we hop into it. So they got Quickly, who's up to a 69 overall, plus 7. Julius Rand uh, Randall, Dante, John Collins, Mitchell Robinson. That is a poorly sorted team. John Collins and Julius in your front court with Mitch Robinson as center. Y'all aren't even starting, RJ. Okay. They're 53 and 29. Those, what the hell do I know, right, man? Uh, okay, so simulate day live. What does that mean? Oh, you can like watch the game? Let's, let's check this out. If you navigate away from this page, you won't be able to see these play by play results. Okay, this is uh, kind of interesting, I suppose. It's kind of like telling you what's going on. Um, don't know if I absolutely love this. This is kind of... It's too much going on. It's not, it's not, it's not a great screen for, for the eyes. It does not feel good on the eyes. Uh, navigate away. So we lost one game to zero. That's okay, man. Simulate until the end of round. And we lost four games to one. We got, we got one game out of it. We got one game out of it. Uh, simulate through the playoffs. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling like I have one more season in me here, man. I got one more season here in me. We're going all in, doing the trades we need to do to get things done. Renew best. Uh-oh. Did we get fired? And we got our performance evaluation. Okay. So, from the owner, this year, bad. Overall, bad. Be careful about losing too much money. I have not. I've been very sloppy. Oh, did we just get fired? Oh, if you go below the line, you get fired. Okay. So we're not fired yet, but we're also not perfect. If anything, he's a little pissed off at us at the moment. He'll get over it. We'll get over it. It's okay. All right, let's go to the draft lottery. Uh, we obviously have no chance here in anything. So simulate until the draft. Here we go. Sim to your next pick. So we got the 16th pick in the draft right here. Uh, small forward, 47 overall. Cole Powell sounds good to me. Let's get him on the team here, man. Okay, he's on the team. Sim to the end of the draft. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so uh, let's go to resign players. Durant. Oh, Durant will come back for $5.38 million. Yes, sir. Sign. Jeremy Grant, sign. Seiko Dumbuya, sign. Rest of these guys. Uh, James, dude, actually got pretty good potential, so we'll get him back on the team, too. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go to free agency. I'm going to guess we don't have too much money freed up at the moment. Oh, we do have some money. 
Oh, yo, Kyrie, bro. You could have came and been the point guard of this team here, man. Come on now, bro. Alrighty, so scoring-wise, uh, Christian Wood, bring him back to Detroit. Dylan Brooks is here. John Wall. Don't really need John Wall at all, do we? Tell me not to get John Wall, guys. Oh, John Morant. John Morant only averaging 12 minutes per game. He can only play point guard, though. Can uh, can Killian play point guard slash shooting guard? He's only a PG. Okay, he's only a PG, so we can't do, like, the double point guard backcourt with those guys. I guess you still could technically, right? But it looks like it's probably not optimal. Man, I wish Kyrie would sign with us, bro. I, I wish we'd get him on here. You know what? Christian Wood. Welcome to the team, Christian Wood. Welcome to the team, man. We need you back here in Detroit. We now have zero roster spots. We have $6.6 .6 million in cap space, which means we could probably let go with somebody. Let's get rid of... Uh, Jeffrey Green right here, who's not doing anything for us. We'll release him, and that'll free up a roster spot. We like so we got about five million dollars to work with here. So one spot available, seven point five in cap. Okay, okay. And of course, we can go over it if needed. Um, what do we got? Okay, what's 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 the let's go with the purr. The sound white size got pretty good purr, man. Like a cat. Clint Capella. Yeah, I'm still want to get John Wall, man. You know what? Oh, I can't get him. I cannot afford him. Uh, Demarcus Cousins, Trey Burke. You know what? We need Tricky Trey on this team. Not even to play, just because. Uh, I guess he ain't Tricky Trey. That's Trey Young, right? But just because you know, for Michigan and stuff, bro. I absolutely loved him there. So we'll get him just for that reason. It's not a good reason, but it's the reason I'm getting him. So we'll go with Killian Hayes, starter, Durant out there, Jeremy Grant. We're gonna go kind of with the uh, whole. Uh, Rookie Kevin Durant, Seattle Supersonic days where he was a shooting guard. So he says he can play guard, which is actually works out perfectly for us. Okay, man. And uh, yeah, you still want to be playing a lot, man. Come on now. Come on now. We ain't playing. Okay. Okay. This is good stuff. Uh, let's go. Let's, let's gray out these ones, actually, just because make sure the stars get enough minutes. All right. So Christian Wood on the team now with Evan Mobley. Jeremy Grant, Kevin Durant, Killing Days. You got a lot of people to play at pass too, man. Yeah, a lot of people to play off oh, past to here. So let's go to the preseason and let's get to it. Is this our year or have I made things worse? Go until the regular season. Simulate until the trade deadline, man. Come on, Detroit basketball, baby. Uh, it's not good. This is pretty tough. This is challenging. Uh, you know, in all fairness, I've never played this before, but uh, it's pretty damn challenging, man. We're nearly in the playoffs, though. Oh, we're actually doing a bit better. Okay, we're actually kind of balling out now. Kind of balling out now. Okay, okay. 26 and 23. Pretty happy about that at the moment. Uh, who's playing good for us? Christian Wood, Evan Mobley. Yo, I'm about to damn trade Evan Mobley away. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Go for like a superstar shooting guard or something and doing a damn thing for us. Like sucking it up. He he played worse than Plumley. I don't think that was possible, man. Let's see what we can get for him. Evan Mobley and Tom. And we're going, uh, you know, full on Brooklyn Nets here, man. Ask for trade proposals. Zier Williams, no. Da Ooh, Damien, Dame time, baby. Okay, okay. Can only play point guard though, so we cannot use him with Killian. Ooh. Oh shit, bro, LeBron at the age of forty. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. So, obviously, let's LeBron. He's 40. We give up three first-round picks for him. Um, they really reward you for giving up those picks here, man. And then we got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Give me those guys. We'll make it happen, man. What do y'all what, what want, man? We'll make it happen. Proposed trade. Did it work? Okay, we'll make the deal work. So, to make this work, we also got to toss in... Uh, Looks like a few more picks. Proposed trade, man. Yeah, the salary cap's destroyed. Okay, so that's not happening because of the salary cap. <laughs> oh, I got really excited, though, for a second. I got really excited for a second. Okay, what was that trade again? Uh, Tom and Evan Mobley, who's still on a rookie deal, by the way, so it makes sense. That doesn't make... It does not work. Do we have any, like, just, like, loose salary we can toss in here? I'll toss in Seku. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, man? Okay, Boris Thomas. Okay, where's LeBron at? There's LeBron again, De'Aaron Fox. Le 
LeBron James. Okay, so that's not happening. We don't have enough salary to give up. Yo, they're trying to give us everybody. What the hell is going on here, man? I'm not asking for all these guys. Okay, we want LeBron James, man. We want LeBron James. Oh, the Lakers are over the cap with this. What, what's his contract? $21 million? Okay, I mean, I can just take away Seiko. That doesn't make it any better. Okay, this uh, this this is the part where it's where it gets a little, a little bit more confusing, man. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, we're not getting LeBron James. That's fine. That was getting a little bit too crazy anyway. Evan Mobley, you get to live another day, I suppose, man. I'll, let's try one more thing here. Just just Mobley, De'Aaron Fox, Damian Lillard, uh, over the salary cap. We get Devin Vessel, David Jackson, Kenny Martin Jr., Paul George, be over the salary cap. Okay, so, yeah, none of those trades are working at the moment. It's fine. You can stick around, bro. I'm not too mad. I always hope you play a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and sim tell the playoffs, man. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We were doing good. Now we're just trash all of a sudden. We are a trash team all of a sudden. Come on, make the playoffs, guys. Come on, man. Make the playoffs, guys. Come on, guys. Make the damn playoffs, guys. Come on. We're not making the playoffs. Oh, man. We did not make the playoffs. We got eliminated from playoff contention. Um... I think this was a pretty good introduction into this. I, I think there's a lot. I do not know how it works. And that's something I'm going to have to look into. Like I said, if you guys want more of this, though, um, leave a like on the video. And I'll definitely do more of this. this was, it was a lot of fun. I just feel like there's so much to it. Maybe I should, like, maybe uh, read up on, like, some tutorials online or something. But uh, just, just kind of wanted to, in, you know, introduce myself to it. Let's go ahead and simulate through the playoffs. See who wins it all right here. Dallas, Miami. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we got nobody winning any sort of rewards. But uh, that's all we got, man. Really enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, in the future, I'll try to keep these more realistic. It's just I was trying to do something. It failed. Again, Durant did not work, I guess, man. But that's all we got. Peace out, guys.